We need to reactivate the ancient logic engine aboard the Judgment of Carrion. To recover the proper activation rights, you must locate data slates hidden in the surrounding decks. Because you will be operating deep within the space hulk, the retribution can only offer very limited support. Jump packs will be useless in the confined space, although teleport systems will function. Oh. Okay. The logic engine is secured in a sealed vault. Only the engine's activation rights will open the vault and grant us access. Xenos and demons infest the judgment of Carrion, Commander. But the lingering warp energies in the ship pose a far graver danger. With prolonged exposure, such energies could drive even the bravest space marine to madness. The boarding party should return to the Retribution as soon as it can. All right, then. This is the Space Hulk mission. There's a whole game dedicated around it. <laughs> Commander, you must locate ancient data slates to access the vault. They should be in data racks of some sort. We have no time to waste. The foul resonance of the warp is already palpable. Chapter's holy gene seed. If an apothecary collected it, why leave it here? A fair question, but we cannot overlook the opportunity to recover Blood Raven's gene stock. Be vigilant for other vials or signs of an apothecary. Commander, the rules indicate Bonaparte still serves in the chapter Honor Guard. How can that be? Urge the tyrannids. Are you telling me I need to take 20 minutes to complete this mission in order for me to be corrupted? Are you kidding? Take off. Are these Tyranids feral? Only without a leader creature nearby. Remember, when connected to their synapse web, all Tyranids become deadlier. I feel the power of the hive mind. Form spearhead and advance. Right away. Exterminate the enemy. Direct our oh, kill the Carnifex. Smelly. Command. 
Understood. Engage the enemy. You know what? We're not gonna. We're not gonna build that much time. That's insane. So much time. Oh, we need to go look for stuff. That's why it's gonna take a lot of time. It has been captured for your use. Repositioning. Now I know what we need to do. Let's actually go do it. Form spearhead and advance. We had best exercise caution. Tyranids aboard these derelicts can evolve to suit the environment. Yes, I sense powerful psychic echoes, even against the warp energies. Weapons are ready. Advance. No, I am. These guys scared me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you heard it. Probably not, but the ice in my cup shifted. Freaking hell. Like 3 a.m. I don't want that shit right now. We shall make it so. What? This might actually take us 20 minutes. Let there be blood! The warp is making itself felt, Commander. We must hurry. Value to you, it shall be mastered. It 
has been captured for your use. Our seed hive beast killed. <laughs> rights. Devastator Marines, ready for combat. We shall make it so. Oh no, we're not getting any more chaos. Another fallen brother. Veteran Lucanus, also of the 5th Company. And another Reducto Vile. Martellus, what do the roles say about Brother Lucanus? Killed Ooh, in the Karabakh like that. campaign. That's cool. I was at Karava. I recall no Lucanus. Commander, both Bonaparte and Lucanus served in an expedition aboard the Judgment of Carrion. I shall try to uncover more about this expedition. Zeno's in the gantries. Get ready! That is such a cool way to do Seven minutes? I don't want to sit here for seven minutes. Another fallen brother. And another gene seed. Sergeant Sarpedon, 5th Company. 
Another member of the same expedition. The records list Apothecary Galen as the leader. Which explains the reductor vials, but not why they were left behind. Another door blocks our way. There is a data slate on the door. Xenos detected. Eliminate them. The logic engine must not be damaged. The foul thing is dead. Let us get to the logic engine. This is Galen. I know not know how long I've been on this forsaken derelict. So many brothers dead. And the voice of old care cackles from every shadow. It is hungry. It wants the holy gene seed in each of us. I must hide the reductive vials. Even the demon cannot know the entire Space Hulk. Commander, that was some sort of Vox recording from centuries ago. I will analyze it as best I can. Victory is but a prelude to the next battle. Oh no, was that armor blessed? Oh, fuck. You would send us all to our deaths to recover another accursed trinket, Tech Marine. Recovering Gene Seed alone is worth the risk, Abatus. I will begin analysis of the logic engine right away, Commander. We have also received several distress signals from across the sector. Two days? Infinite? Two days. Sacrifice a targeted unit, summon a squad of frenzied blood letters. Good. Melee damage. Yeah, no one's gonna.
Oh. Commander, you must step back from madness. Do not make yourself into my enemy. Heavy flamer. by this squad. Okay. Well. Trying to see if I can get Jonah one immune to suppression this one was really good, but we're going to switch it. The following transmission is repeating on secure chapter channels. Come, Blood Ravens! Face me in battle if you dare! I am Aragos of the Black Legion! I await you, Honoralia! The scum is challenging us like an undercity pit fighter. If he wants a battle, I will give him one. This must be a trap. Does it matter? Commander, the Vandis heretics are gaining ground hourly. Captain Angelos has sent no blood ravens to aid Meridian. We need... I need your help. Please come to Meridian as soon as you can. DeRosa out. We have located the store of reductor vials left aboard the Judgment of Carrion. Recovering additional Blood Raven's genetic material would be of great service to the chapter. Demons and Xenos of all sorts infest this vessel, however, and it still resonates with warp energies. Returning to the Judgment of Carrion is entirely at your discretion, Commander. We cannot forego an opportunity to recover Blood Raven gene seed. This could allow the chapter to grow strong again. With respect to Captain Thule, this Space Hulk looks like a death trap. Surely all the Blood Ravens who died there also thought they could secure the chapter's future. Commander, I have a request. Every librarian swears to protect the relics and histories of the chapter. Leaving this vessel unexplored feels like a violation of that oath. I would ask to join you on this mission. You will automatically teleport back to the Retribution after a fixed amount of time. This should prevent you from becoming trapped and limits exposure to the maddening effects of the warp. Hmm. Okay. Every second spent aboard this accursed derelict puts us at risk. We must recover the gene seeds quickly. Understood. Our enemies reveal themselves. I have heard the voice of power.
power of the hive mind. I mean, there's definitely one gene seed behind it. Go back. Prepare for combat. This is out. in that crate for sure. Our weapons are ready. No power is unknowable. Gene Seed is literally just on the way. alone here.
Assault squad on the way. Oh, it's probably in the hive tyrant. To the fight, brothers. This is Avatus. He will be Emperor's wrath. Our enemy is We have the gene seed samples, Commander. This deed will make our chapter stronger. This is okay. I, I mean, I barely. It's fine. Wire Terminator armor, which I do not have. Chapter Honor Guard. The Master of Scribes found this message. He came to me because he could not trust you. You must. 
skin diabetes to put a leash on Angelos. He still has us chasing them, and that is putting me at great risk. I am not the only one who will be discovered if it comes to that. Do you understand me, Galen? Knowledge is power, as you are all so fond of saying. This was sent to Calderas and the Honor Guard. Corruption worms its way into the chapter's heart. Yet I see you stepping into darkness as well. I like this dialogue line. This is Captain Diomedes. All Blood Ravens are to cease crusade recruitment and other operations within the Aurelian Sector. Return to your muster points and prepare for mobilization to the Ferox Rift Crusade. Knowledge is power. Guard it well. There is the Iron Resolve of the Blood Raven. We are receiving another priority signal from Captain Angelos. Commander, we must not abandon this sector to the traitor legions. I am headed to Calderas to discuss the matter with Diomedes. Continue to oppose the Black Legion. Angelos out. Heed, Gabriel. A commander must preserve his honor. Commander, praise Terra you have come. The Vandis heretics and the Black Legion are overrunning Capital Spire itself. We still hold the Imperial Palace, but they have taken the rest of the Spire. I will die before surrendering the palace to these treasonous curs. Without your aid, Blood Ravens, I will make good on that pledge before long. Well, I'm not gonna let it expire because we're gonna lose out on items if that happen. You have brought us key victories, Commander, but we have been fighting a hundred other battles. The 85th Vendelant and my other loyal troops have all suffered massive casualties. The Black Legion, however, never seems to run out of madmen and demons to throw against us. Loyal forces are converging on Capital Spire, but they will not be here in time to make a difference. After this, everyone should be corrupt to the max. This is Governor Elena de Rosa. The Blood Ravens are here. The Emperor's Angels of Death fight with us. Drive the traitors from the palace gates. Safe, thanks to your blood ravens, Commander. The Black Legion will not give up so easily, Governor. Prepare for a counterattack. Commander, I have several tarantula turrets ready to deploy.
for orders. Relocating. To the fight front. still holds the communications array and Imperial Shrine below the plaza, however. A quick strike could retake them, Commander. It's a Prepare for combat. Commander. My tactical squad will hold this location. Additional turrets are ready to deploy, Commander. Jump to that position. Our weapon is ready. It is done. Move off. Under suppression. and I will keep this area secure. Your firepower is needed elsewhere. Additional turrets are ready to deploy, Commander. Sage Devastators under enemy attack! Direct power right. It is done! Move on! One of our own has died. The that enemy must good. pay. Avenge me! Wow. I... Thaddeus reporting in. I tapped the deepest wells of power. Oh, sacrifice. The enemy has massed for a counterattack on the palace. Stand with the Emperor and drive them back. Commander, the palace will not hold without your aid. Yes, 
Thank you, Blood Ravens. Once again, you have saved Meridian. So corrupted. Let our enemies beware. The victory is ours. Commander, I am forever in your debt. I cannot understand why Captain Angelos and Captain Diomedes refuse to aid us. But in our darkest times, against our most terrible foes, you stood with us. Meridian will never forget this. I will never forget. Oh, look at that. Bull's not here anymore. Brain combat is seventy eight. And sight rain. That's yeah, not great. Oh no. Why?
Friends, hear me. I am Aragos the Pillager, Master of Hounds, the Lash of the Black Legion. You and all your kind are cowards, lowly lickspittles. You must be emulating that pile of bones you call an emperor. You are as dead and useless as him. I am destroying your worlds, Blood Ravens, yet you do nothing. I see your precious craft hanging in orbit above Aurelia. I am here. Face me if you dare. Enough. I can no longer sit here in orbit while that treasonous filth lives. I swear I will deliver the death blow myself. I agree, Commander. We cannot allow him to call us, and the Emperor, cowards. When we strike at this madman, there can be no falling back or tactical withdrawals. Let's go. Issuing a fallback? Have you mastered your fear at last? We know no fear. My knowledge is at your disposal. X for fallback. Okay. You blood ravens are clearly fearless in your hurry to leave the sector. The courage with which you show us your high quarters does your Emperor proud. Turncoat scum, I will kill you here and now. Very impressive. You have more steel than the rest of your mewling chapter. Rejoice, brothers! Your slavery to the false so emperor fast. ends today. The only thing ending today is your worthless life. Yes, and to the void with orders and niceties. But not quite yet, little blood ravens. First, a test. Make your way to my chosen battleground. Elephas, open the portal! Yes, Lord. Swift march. 
Watch weapons live. My power, I move without fear. Assault seek and destroy. Look, a way forward. We can finish this yet. Destroy the forces of chaos! Another enemy crushed. It is done. Move on! Yeah, I can't use Call for Blood. It does so much damage to myself. as this percentage. There is a shrine ahead. Ah. It is sure to be well defended, but securing it would aid us greatly. Direct our wrath. The enemy is here. It is done. Move on. Yes! Fight on for the Blood God! Sad, honestly. That uh, we the final ability. Is Ravens. No one! No one! Beats on them. 
Kill the heretics to weaken him. It is done. Move on. My power is ours. Another enemy of man falls to us. My lord, open a portal. No, I think not. A change in leadership is in order. <laughs> We have not gotten more Terminator. Such is the fate of all those who think to control demons. Perhaps. But now we face an even more powerful foe in Alaphas. Ah, what does it matter who we fight or why? Let the scum grab at power if he wishes. And the prospect of Eliphas with more power somehow reassures you? Commander, another transmission from Captain Diomedes of the Honor Guard. He has declared Gabriel Angelos a renegade and orders our return to Calderas. I have also uncovered additional information about Apothecary Galen and his expedition aboard the Judgment of Carrion. Increased strength by two. Oh, that's not for everybody. Whoops. Why is it so hard to re-corrupt him? For Dreadnought? This sniper rifle. <laughs> Dang.
Yeah, this is not great. Try using this again. I am, again, very disappointed in all the chaos. Max out ability. Well, this one, his is pretty good. So, Avitas and Tarkas is the two with, like, Yeah, with actually good ability. All right. The log entry which played when you activated the logic engine aboard the Judgment of Carrion was only one of many in the engine's cogitation archives. Listen to these additional entries. The Emperor has granted us a miracle. Guarding the corpses of the brothers lost aboard this derelict, we have found a survivor. Librarian Kyrus is restored to the chapter. And this entry, sometime later. One of heart fell today, killed by another demon of the Dark Gods. All our exits have sealed, and our beacons have failed. We are trapped. Kyrus' psychic powers have saved us several times already. But how can he defend against the voices I hear in the darkness? How can any of us? The rest of the log is protected by ancient encoding rites, and these are strikingly reminiscent of the rites masking our traitor's identity. And this is the same Kairos? Who is now Chapter Master and Chief Librarian of the Blood Ravens. They saw the truth of the warp, it seems. What happened to Galen himself? He serves with the Chapter Honor Guard. Blood Ravens! Take heed, for the grievous sins of refusing chapter orders, spreading heresy, raising arms against his one-time brothers, and stealing relics, arms, and artifacts from the chapter. Gabriel Angelos is hereby declared an enemy of the chapter and sentenced to death. The renegade Angelos has fled, absconding with the battle barge Litany of Fury. I, Captain Apollo Diomedes, issue this declaration with full authority from Azariah Kairos, Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens and Keeper of the Librarium. Knowledge is power. Guard it well. Hmm. Judgment of Carrion's logic engine confirms our suspicions. The encoding rites used by our traitor and in Galen's logs both bear a marked resemblance to those of the Chapter Honor Guard. With a copy of their codes, I could finally identify the traitor. 